Hello, my name is Seth. Thanks for watching my videos on YouTube at How I Think. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is an IP address and how to subnet. Now, there are hundreds of videos out there and thousands of articles on how to subnet an IP and what an IP address is. They go into a lot more detail. Mine is just a very brief introduction, and uh, I'm going to show you a method on how to subnet an IP address. So what is an IP? Well, an IP is a unique identifier that all devices have. Okay, Think of an IP address as a street address and a house number that is unique to you. right? And there's two parts to that. There is a subnet portion and then there's a host, right? like a street address and a house number. And usually an IP address is 32 bits long and it's divided into four groups or they're called an octet. So in this example down here below, I have 192. 168 1.10. So 192 is broken down into 8 bits or 8 zeros. And this could be 1s and zeros, but this is just demonstration purposes. So there's 8 zeros, then dot 168, which is 8 bits or 8 zeros, dot 1, which again is 8 bits or 8 zeros, dot 10. Okay, equaling 32 bits. So there are two types of IP addresses there are global or public IP addresses, and they usually look something like this and then there's a private IP or a local IP address so if you do an IP config or if config on your machine local at home most likely you have a 192.168 dot something IP address there so there's two types is a private and then there is um, public and the public IP range uh, are subdivided into different classes there's a class A and that range starts from 0 to 127 and there's a class B that begins from, with 128 all the way to 191, a class C which starts with 192 all the way to 223, and then there's also a class D which is used for multicast. The private IP range, they usually begin with class A which is 10.0.0.0, a class B which is 172.16.0.0, or a class C which is 192.168.0.0. So most likely you'll see a private IP range in your corporation and at homes. So if you're at uh, in your corporation, you'll, your IP range will start with either a 10 dot something number or 172 dot 16 something number. And if you're at home, they usually start with 192, 168. And the private ranges are completely separate from the public one, okay? Because they're private to your network or to your home. So what is a subnet mask? Well, a subnet is a, a subnetwork or a smaller network within a large network. Okay, and a subnet mask is a 32-bit number, as we saw earlier. Okay, 32-bit number that divides the IP address into the network address and the host address. So the subnet mask tells you which portion is the street address and which portion is the um, your house address, your house number. Basically, that's what a that's what a subnet mask does. Okay, pretty simple. And normally, you'll see uh, an IP address, and it has an annotation. Uh, or uh, at the end of it, there's a, it's called a CIDR notation, which stands for classless interdomain routing. So it's like a shortcut. So they'll do a slash 27, slash 24, slash whatever, right? So you have an IP address and there's a slash something at the end. Well, that slash something at the end is the subnet mask, okay? So in this case, a slash 27, well, we know that's two, 255, 255, 255.224. So to shorten it, instead of writing all this out, they usually do a slash 27 or do a CIDR. Um, rotation. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll do a um, we'll do some subnetting. All right, so I have um, created this Excel sheet. So the first thing you want to do is you write this out. Okay, it makes it easy for you. Just remember this. Remember these two sets of numbers. This this these two rows. Okay. First thing you want to do is you write this out. Uh, we're going to be subnetting this IP right here, 168.173.70.134/29, and we need to find out what the subnet mask is, what the network IP is, or the subnet ID, uh, IP. We need to know what the first available host IP that we can use, the last available host IP, and what is the broadcast IP. Now remember, every subnet or every network, right, has two portions of an IP that it reserves. One is the network portion. 
and then here's my broadcast. So the network ID is usually the first ID and the broadcast is usually the last IP. And those two are reserved, you can't use those, but you can use everything else in the middle. So we need to find out for this IP what the subnet mask is, the network IP, and so on and so forth. So the very first thing you do is you create this little chart that I've created here, okay? The first row, I wrote, I wrote down 128, Next to it, I wrote down 192, then 224, 240, 248, 252, 254, and 255. Just memorize this, and you write this down. And these are the subnets, okay? Just memorize this. This, this is something that will help you. And underneath that, starting on, under 255 from right to left, you write down 1, then you write down 2, and, and the rest is just power of 2 as you go forward. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128, okay? And as you can notice, they're right above each other, right? Underneath that, this is something that I do. Um, this is just for my visualization purposes. If you remember earlier from the slide, I, I showed you that, you know, there's 32 bits, right? And there's four octets equaling 32 bits. So I write down eight zeros, and after the first dot, I write down eight to let me know that I just passed eight zeros. And then under the next dot, I write down 16, that tells me I've passed, down, passed 16 zeros. And then the next dot is 24, same thing. And then the last is 32. So this kind of just visualization purposes, I know how far I am along. And this helps with actually the subnetting. So once you have this little chart going, we'll go ahead and take this number. So let's go ahead and find out what the subnet mask is. The first thing you do is you look at the slash 29, right? The CIDR notation. You, remember we said that tells us what the, the subnet ID is, right? Or the subnet, the network ID. So we need to find out what slash 29 is. So we take 29 and then we come down here and we look at this chart right here, right? So 29 is bigger than 8, right? Bigger than 16 and bigger than 24, but not bigger than 32. So what we do is we take we take 32, which is right here, okay? And we subtract 29 from it. Okay? It gives us 3. All right, so we have three. So the next thing you do is you take, you look at the second row here, okay, that I created. So you take two and you raise it to the power of three, okay? And that equals, well, let's look at it. One, two, three. That's eight, okay? And you write down eight. So now we know this network, the increment in eight. Okay, so it's 8, and then we look at 8, and we look at 8 right above it, and that's 248, right? From the chart, that's 248. Well, there you go. That's your subnet mask. So it's 255.255.255.248, right? 8, and we just look at it right above it, 248. Simple. Why didn't I put 248 here in the second, third octet, or the second octet? Well, we did that because... Remember, 29, it says slash 29, right? So 29 is bigger than 8, it passes that first octet. It's bigger than 16, it passes the second octet. It's bigger than 24, it passes the third octet, right? So that tells me that the subnet ID is somewhere in the fourth octet, right? That's why I wrote down dot 48 in the last octet. That's how you'll know. Whichever octet the number resides in, that's the portion that you write down the number in. So 255, 255.245.248. I hope that made sense. Okay, so now we need to find out what the network ID is. Well, we know that the network will increment by 8, right? So we can either write this down. So here, for example, I'll write down um, the IP is 168.173.70. Now, here's the thing, 70.0, right, 168.173.70.8, because remember, they increment by 8, right, and you just go down, 16, 24, 32, 40, so on and so forth. Right, because they, they, they keep incrementing by 8. Well, the last ID, so this the last IP is 134. Right, 
134. So let's take this and we keep going down. Okay, 48, 56, 72, and that's one, 136. The next one is 144. Right, 144. Well, we know that 134 resides in the 128 network, right? Because if you go over to 136, that means we went over one, right? So we so we know that the network ID is 168.173.70.128. Okay, and if you don't have an Excel to plot this in, um, you can use a calculator. We know that increment by eight, so you can say eight times. 17 equals 136. Well, we're almost right there. 136 minus 8, 128. So you can use a calculator to figure this out as well. Okay, this is just for demonstration purposes that I put into Excel. So 128. So we know that the network ID is 128. So what's the next available IP? Remember, we can't use 128, right? So what's the next available IP? Well, the next available IP is just 1 over, right? So that would be. 129. And the last available IP, well, the last available IP would be uh, if the next one is 136, um, we subtract 2 from this, so 134. So this was the last ID 134. So the broadcast ID is 168 times 170. 3.135 Simple. Easy, right? So it's not that difficult. We find out what the Sumner mask was. We found out what the first available um, IP is, what the network ID was, the last IP, and the broadcast IP. Okay, so we're going to do this IP. It's 153.34.173.2. Okay. Now, this the method that I used will work for every single IP, okay? So there's nothing to be afraid of if it's a bigger number or a smaller number. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at the Saturn notation, the last, uh, the slash 17, right? And we look at it. It's, it's 17 bigger than 8. Yes, it is. It's 17 bigger than... 16, yes it is. So that tells me that the subnet mask will be in the third octet, right? 17 comes right after 16. So is 17 bigger than 24? No, it's not. So we take 24, right? And we subtract 17 from it. What, that gives us 7? We take 2 and we raise it to the power of 7 and that gives us, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 128. That gives us 128. Okay, so we know that this network will have this subnet is incrementing by 128. Okay, so it's 128, and I look at 128 and I look right above it. Okay, and that gives us the subnet mask. Now remember, we said this was in the, this was in the third octet, right? So the subnet mask is 255, 255, 128.0. That's the subnet mask. Okay, so now we need to find out the network ID. So the network ID would be, if you look at our IP, it's 153.34.173.242. Well, if we go up to, we know that 173 is in between 128 and 256, right? So the network ID would be 128. Okay, 153.34. Dot one twenty eight dot zero. The first available host would be one fifty three dot thirty four dot one twenty eight dot one. Now remember, we can't use zero, right? So the next available is dot one, and the last available host would be one fifty three dot thirty four dot. Now remember, they increment by one hundred twenty eight, so two fifty six. Is the next one so be one so one below 256 is 255 right so 153 34 255 dot 254
four, right? And the broadcast ID would be, or the broadcast IP would be 153.34.255.255. Okay, because that's the broadcast. Simple. It's easy and it's fun. And once you get the concept down, you'll never forget it. And you'll, you'll be able to do IP subnetting for any IP without any fear. I hope this tutorial helped you. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, comment on the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.